Guten Tag. How is everyone? All safe and well, I hope. It's not a good morning. I'm at the drop I haven't been to before. And, well, I'll try and show you in now. Because I'm going to clear, I'm going to put this in here. But, that's what the customer wants. So somehow, it's got to go in there. Somehow, i got to get the trailer in there. Easy I hear you say. Not really. Because that's the road I've just come down. That's what's in front of me. And that's what's to the side of me. And that's what's on the other side of me. Well, that's a stroke of luck. I'm not going into the warehouse I thought I was going into, like the gentleman told me. I'm going into the one on the left. I still don't really make a difference, like, but you know. When I went in to see him, the guy said, let's go to the one on the right that side, the one you can see now with the windows on. But I'm not. Instead, I'm going into this bloody one. Ah, oh, shut up. Mind you, this is tight, this is fair play. That wasn't too painful. The one guy did lie to me, told me I was going in the other way though, but uh, luckily I wasn't. So I'm not going to complain about that. So, straight back down to South Wales again, pick another one up. Can't complain. It's not a very uh, good place this ain't. If I can, um, let's have a look. Yeah, that was the the bay they wanted me in. But luckily enough, I went to the one over there. There's no room there at all. Oh, bear with me. Right, yo. Back down for another one. Ah! Some of the aerial banging on branches. I was supposed to be picking another load up in um, on the way back down, but uh, I got uh, cancelled. Really have a shame actually, because it was nice to go where I was going. Out in a place called Cinderford for the Forest of Dean. Right. Speak to you soon.
place to park. Right, back in the yard, grab a drop of uh, diesel and find out what uh, I'll be doing next. Because I have no idea at the moment. Oh. Empty yard. I can assure you it wasn't like this at 4 o'clock this morning. Right, grab some diesel. Right, we're going to play my favourite game of Hunt the Trailer. I've been to the one trailer park and it's not there. So, let's go and have a look for somewhere else. I'm hoping it's in the warehouse down by here now. Hoping. Let's find out. Yeah, trailer, 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 where are you? Come on, I need to take you to London. Yeah, trailer, trailer, trailer. Way to. Where are you too? I'm hoping it's that one over there. I'm hoping. And there she is. Fifteen thirty-three. Oh, marvelous! That's just marvelous. All right, let's get this sheeted. And just like that, it's done. <laughs> oh, it's not bad that side. Uh, not as good that side. Oh, not as good that side. And I'm not impressed about this either. But that's all I can do. Because the sheets I got are 40 foot sheets, not 45. So. Um, uh, chuck four straps over there now. I haven't coupled it up properly because, well, one of our shunters is going to have to weigh it out because it's out on his registration, so not a lot I can do about that. That's not bad, 25 minutes. Right. Just chuck all the airlines in so we can check all the lights. We have lights. Now that I build the air up as well. As we notice, I'm sitting quite low onto the ground. Yeah, I'm not best impressed with that really. But um, unfortunately, only 45 foot sheets, there's not a lot I can do about that. I need some air in here. But we can fix that. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, needs a bit of air, that is. I don't know if I've said this before, but I'll say it anyway. 
if you have a strap and a load, strap it over to the um, passenger side of the vehicle. If you can. Sometimes obviously you've got to throw straps over the other way. But um, if you can, always put it over the passenger side. If you ever have to stop then, you can get out and sort it out and you've got traffic flying past you. Right, let's get this weed out. Yeah, sometimes you might have to uh, throw a strap over the other way if you need um, if you need the strap to pull that way. Because obviously, whichever way you throw, it'll pull a, um, pull on a different uh, different side then. And it's still raining. Great. Now I gotta find my shunter, which I don't know where he is. Choo-choo train. Where is the choo-choo train going? Let's have a look. Oh, it's going away and going. There's nobody drives that. It's all done by remote control. Nobody in it whatsoever. There's a guy to walk in front of it or uh, along the side of it. Talk about uh, a train fanatic's dream. A real life mode control uh, train. Come on, Thomas. It's um, four o'clock in the afternoon now. <clears throat> I'm going to be in um, London for nine o'clock booking. I won't be there for nine o'clock. I will be there for six o'clock. The boys down there are really good, and they like to have you in and out and no messing around. I'm not going to make it tonight down there. I was hoping to get down there tonight, you know, so, but. I get on the M25, it'll be absolute just, just chaos. So I'll just cut my night short. And uh, uh, I think I'm gonna be around red in some way. I'll do me. Stop for a shower on the way down. Which I think will be uh, Jim and M truck stop, I think. They got good showers in here. Right, turtles. That's me done. I um, I was hoping to be a lot further down than what I am, but I've just queued for the last oh, I don't know hour and a half. So it's just not worth it now. Cut my losses, and I'll just start early in the morning. Um, I should have been pretty much outside where I wanted to be, but not happening, so we'll have a nice early night. I'm always knackered on a Monday, always. I um, never really sleep a great deal on a Sunday. So I'll uh, cut you loose by you, and we'll carry on tomorrow. I'm um, just parked in a crappy lay-by. Just off the M4 by uh, High Wickham. Absolutely nothing here whatsoever. But I can't even be bothered to cook any food or nothing tonight. I'm just have an early night. Oh. Dribble on the pillow. Um. <laughs>
Oh, I spend too much time on my own. So, right. Um, somebody left me a, a, a comment and I can't find it to reply to it. So hopefully if you watch the end of this, I will answer your question. And it was involving, uh, I think the guy lives close to where I work from. Um, he was asking about jobs and work. I think you said he was doing a class one license. I'm sure of it. If I got it wrong, I apologize. Um, I will say if you get a class one, my company wouldn't be the best ones to um, work for due to the fact of the nature of the work. Um, a lot of, it's a double-edged sword when you get, um, when you do finally get a class one license because a lot of companies won't touch you unless you've got experience. And then you get frustrated because obviously you're a new driver and you want to have a go. But then who gives you a go? Who's the people to um, speak to? If, um, if I was you, Personally, I would get on some agencies. There's a strange guy walking around here. He keeps looking at me. He's freaking me out. Anyway, I'm um, sorry. Um, yeah, if you've just passed a class one, there is some companies which will take you on, um, but it does depend on the nature of the work um, they do. Um, agency is probably your best bet. Is you'll get a good variety of work, and it's normally a lot of trunking work or day work. So it's a bit of a hassle because you're swapping and changing in different companies. But it's um, it is a good good way of getting your foot in the door, as they say. Unless obviously you know someone who might be able to put in a good word for you somewhere. But yeah, that's what I would do if I was you personally. Um, but like I said, due due to the nature of what we do, which is all flat work, it's all. Um, steel work porter car bins you know it's whatever fits in our trailer we carry so they like to have people who've got a bit of knowledge not so much knowledge but a bit of experience you know the idea is you kind of you know you send a driver somewhere and you haven't got to worry about them not being able to deal with a problem whatever it is you're carrying but um yeah so i hope that answers your question but yeah i'd go for probably agency work things like that just to get your foot in the door the end of the day, just experience is what you need um but it's really i understand your frustration when people pass their class one license um you're going around all these different companies and none of them are like oh well no you've got no experience we can't employ you well ugh. so yeah it is um really 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 frustrating i gotta double check something out which I'll um, try and do tonight now. Um, there's a possibility, I think my company have started, um, what do they call it, um, a driver's apprentice scheme thing. But I'll have a look. So hopefully if that helps anyone, then I'll uh, double check tonight now. Right, I'm gonna bed, because I'm absolutely ruined. <sighs> I've just had enough. Oh, and uh, hello the new people. Cause it seems to be a hell of a lot of you. <laughs> well, where you've all popped up from, I don't know. So, welcome aboard the fun bus, and we'll see you tomorrow. Doodles!